All right, y'all, what's up? Uh, it's your boy Lando Bands back again from Making Music Studios with another uh, How to Mix video. Uh, today, I'm pretty much just going to have another, uh, not really in-depth, but a pretty pretty basic getting to the point mix video. All right, uh, I'm going to let you guys hear the before and the after. So the top one is the before. I mean, the top one is the after. The bottom one is the before. I'm going to let you play. I'm going to play a little bit um, to right here. How your man get jammed you talk about you need bricks? You a fool with the pole in your hand, it's a free leak. Interception on the bag, heard it was a pig six. Plug trying to tag, so I gotta hit a leak. Empty up the drum, I'ma shoot it to the pitch. Got caught on the road with the bleak and it's nasty. Ass so fat, body slow, look plastic. I don't want the little bitch fucker in the panorama. Alright, so you can clearly tell the difference uh, from the before and the after. Alright, so the first thing I did was a de-esser. And if you don't know what de-esser is, it's basically just doing what it sounds like. Just de-essing the vocal. I'm gonna take it step by step throughout the entire chain, and then as we go, I'm just gonna bypass it. And in a deesser, honestly, what you're looking for, um, you're just trying to tame that harsh sibilance in the vocal, the SHs, the CHs, the Ts, the Ss, the Sts. Yeah, so I'm gonna play it, and then I'm gonna bypass it. Fuck on your bitch, I'ma throw it like three cent. Huh. Plug in my life. Fuck on your bitch, I'ma throw it like three cent. Fuck on your bitch, I'ma throw it like three cent. Fuck on your bitch, I'ma throw it like three cent. You can hear what it's doing. It's taking away that scent. It's taming it, um, but it's still keeping a little bit of sonic in that vocal. It's still keeping clarity in it. So you know he's saying sin. It's not shh. It's not super mashing it out. Um, put that back. All right. Uh, next on my chain, uh, I do a reductive EQ. Um, if you don't know what a reductive EQ is, it's basically just taking the problematic frequencies, the troublesome areas that stop the vocal from fitting properly into the two track. It's unsolo it and then I'm gonna open up uh, the Q8 and the reason I use the QA is because I like having the option to use up to eight bands um, I don't always use them but just being able to have the extra bands I know like fab filter is a good one um, any EQ that you're really comfortable with this is just the reductive EQ uh, and the reason you're gonna use that is just like I said just to give space to the vocal so it'll sit properly with the beat um, the two track however you got it uh, set up for you guys First one I did was around the 331 range. I kind of like doing the cone technique. Um, this is what I like, kind of get that cone look, you know, not too wide, not too tight, but it's just, it's right in between. It's, it's a nice, it's a nice cone look. I like, I like how that sounds. Um, if I pull up around that 300 range, it's gonna be a, a, a wolfy area. Um, it's gonna take that rumble and that area kind of conflicts with the kicks in like the 808s of the beat. So if you listen to it, and I'm gonna keep it up, and then I'm gonna bypass it so you can hear it. Fall off. Fuck on your bitch, I'ma throw it like three cent. Huh. Plug in my line, then he said that the piece in. Man, I think it got the bag, cause I heard it got the piece stench. Why they acting like the Kush because long pussy? You hear how it kind of gives it that little wolf, that little. You're gonna just take that out uh, about three to four decibels. Not too much, not too crazy. You still want to keep life in the vocal, but. Um, I bypass it and unbypass it, you'll be able to hear how it opens up just a little bit more. And this is going to be the most drastic one that I use. That 300 to 400 range is the most critical range to me. Um, and you're probably wondering why I didn't do like a high pass filter um, just to scoop it off at first. I'm going to get into that later in my chain. So uh, we just play that back real quick. Fuck on your bitch, I'm going to throw it like three cent. Huh. Plug in my line and say that the piece cent. See, it kind of thins it out just a little bit. Next, um, I'm going to go up just a little bit. And 391, you know, that 400 range, that's, again, you know, that that you're going to find the problematic area. And I'm going to sweep. This is called a sweep technique. And I'm just going to sweep around this area until I hear it. And I'm just going to pull it out. Fuck on your bitch, I'm going to throw it like three cent. Huh. Plug in my line, then he said that the piece cent. Man, I think I got the bag because I heard it got the piece stench. Right there. If you can hear it, kind of hit your ears a little ugly. Go ahead and scoop that out. Fuck on your bitch, I'ma throw it like three cent. Huh. Plug in my line, then he said that the piece cent. Man, I think he got the bag, cause I heard he got the piece stench. Why they acting like the cush be cologne pussy nigga that the we sent? It's a drop of the bag in the air, so the fiend said. And if you hear right there, there's nothing that stands out, so there's nothing that we need to pull out. Notice that if you don't need to do anything to it, you leave it alone. Fuck on your bitch, I'ma throw it like three cent. Huh. Plug in my line, then he said that the piece cent. 
Man, I think he got the bag because I heard he got the pea stench. Why they acting like the Kush be cologne pussy nigga that the we sent? It's a drop with the bag in the air so the fiend sit. I been gone for some days so I said to get a free fix. How your man get jammed when you talk about you need bricks? You a fool with the pole in your hand, it's a free lick. Interception on the bag, heard it was a pig sick. Look, trying to tag so I gotta hit a lick. Fuck on your bitch, I'ma throw it like three cent. Boom. Right there. You hear something like that off bat, you know that's an area you gotta just go ahead and take that out just a little bit. Fuck on your bitch, I'ma throw it like three cent. Huh. Plug in my line, then he said that the P cent. Man, I think he got the bag, cause I heard he got the P stench. Why they acting like the Kush be cologne pussy nigga that the we sent? It's a drop with the bag in the air, so the fiend sent. I been gone for some days, so I said to get a free fix. How your man get. Bitch, I'ma throw it like three cent. Huh. Plug in my line, then he said that the P cent. All right, so this is the one I just did. I honestly didn't even look at the numbers to try to make it match the original, but this is the original to the left, and that's what I did to the right. Well, the only thing I didn't do is take out that last little 700 range, but what I did for my second one, that's the one I'm just gonna keep. Uh, next, you're probably looking like, all right, how do I get this louder? Um, and that's when compression comes into the chain. Uh, compression is basically, <clears throat> excuse me, just reducing the dynamic range, whether that be bringing the, the quiet areas up, cutting the, the loud areas down, and just creating a more balanced sound. Um, proper compression just creates a well-balanced and consistent mix. I'm gonna break down the CLA-3A, and I look at the peak reduction strictly as the ratio on a compressor. Um, if you can hear it, you're doing too much, and that's that's the best rule of thumb. And I'm gonna go ahead and play this bypass and unbypass, and you're gonna be able to hear what it's doing. Hearing what it's doing right there is just knocking off about three decibels again. Reduction. Sorry for the, the pause right there. All you're hearing is it take about three decibels off the top, and I'm not really giving it too much gain. Um, that comes into my limiting process and my next step as well. Um, again, I'm gonna play it, bypass and unbypass, so you can hear the difference. Fun, you bitch, I'm gonna do like three cent. Huh. Plug in my line, then he said that the P cent. Man, I think he got the bag, cause I heard he got the P stench. Why they acting like the Kush be cologne pussy nigga that the we sent? It's a drop with the bag in the air, so the fiend sent. It's not doing too much, you know what I mean? You don't really want it to do, um, you don't want it to do too much, especially in your first EQ. I do about two, three in my chain overall. Um, next, additive EQ. And basically this is just adding the frequencies, uh, the tighten of the vocal where it may be missing. Um, and then this is also where I do another part of my reduction EQ, simply because I love the SSL channel, I love what it emulates, I love how it sounds, and I'm used to it, I'm familiar with it. Um, I also use the side chain on this one, I also do the side compressor. And basically, if you if you don't have this, you can also do, you know, an additive EQ and just another compressor. But I use this very, very drastically, as this does a lot to my vocal. First thing um, is my high pass filter. I'm gonna scoop off that low end. This is basically, this is this area right here. So it's doing this essentially. Just scooping off that low end so it fits in better with the beat. I'm gonna bypass it and unbypass it. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I also have a little high end roll on there um, around the AK range. This is a universal, these two right here are universal to when I open up this plug and this is what it's gonna look like. I'm, it's always gonna have that about three decibels up in the AK range. Yeah, so as you're gonna hear me bypass the EQ, I'm still gonna keep the, the compression on the compression side uh, bypass, so let's get into it. Fun, you bitch, I'ma throw like three cent. Huh. Plug in my line, then he said that the P cent. Man, I think he got the bag, cause I heard he got the P stench. Why they acting like the Kush be cologne pussy nigga that the we sent? It's a drop with the bag in the air, so the fiend sent. I been gone for some days, so I said to get a free fix. How your man get jammed when you talk about you need bricks? But the, the key sauce to this entire 
plug in is this compression side. I usually do a three to one ratio, maybe a 2.5 to a three, really doesn't matter. It's all, all on how I feel the vocal needs to be hit. If it, again, if it sounds like it's compressing it too much, it probably is. Bringing it louder, you do want to hear saturation and the loudness come to life as I do pull this threshold out. But then again, you're just going to be listening to the overall sound of the vocal. And as it pulls together, this compressor right here is glues it all up. It's a drop with the bag in the air so the fiend sit. I've been going for some days, so I said to get a free fix. And you if you can hear what that's doing, your ears are working just fine. And you know exactly what you're doing. You know, as I turned the threshold up, all it did was touch the vocal. All that threshold does is touch the vocal. I'll keep my release pretty fast, you know, 3.4. I might fluctuate with it if it's a die. If it's a singer vocal, like if they're holding the notes a little bit longer, I might make it a little bit slower. If it's like a hip hop vocal or it's got a it's got to hit it a lot you know i kind of make it fast next i do my gate and what the gate does is basically silences out all the noises that you don't want to hear so what your what my bottom sound is is negative 24 uh, decibels or so where the threshold hits it anything that's underneath that sound and anything that's underneath negative 24 which would be like negative 25 negative 26 you know as zero being the highest it prevents it from pushing through and basically takes out the, the extra breaths and it, and it, and it kind of just enhances the vocal in, in a weird way and I'm going to mess with the threshold so you can hear what it's doing and kind of hear how it glues the track together even more after the compressor. So I'm going to turn the threshold down and then let's get it. And what that does is it just kind of pushes up that bottom in a little bit, but it, it cuts it off just perfectly so it just grits it and enhances it and it just sounds amazing. Next and final in my chain is my L1 limiter. Yes, what this does is just puts the max ceiling at my vocal where I feel like it's going to perfectly blend in with the beat. And I like my vocal to match with the snare of the the beat. You know, if it if it matches that clap, I can hear the clap and it's not a distortion between the vocal. It's not fighting for that that depth in the sonic field and it just blends in perfectly. That's when I know it's is it's doing what it's got to do. As you can see, as you're looking at my tracking, no track is majorly dynamic. Everything's just about the same size. Performance is key. Recording, if it doesn't get recorded good, it's not gonna come out good. You know, basically I'm gonna sum it up. But yeah, let's get onto this last plug. Fuck on your bitch, I'ma do it like three cent. Huh. Now let's play back and forth, before and after. You a fool with the pole in your hand, it's a free leak. Interception on the back, heard it was a pig seat. Look, trying to tag, so I gotta hit a leak. And you can see both my volumes are at negative 2.4, which I could have left them at zero, um, honestly. But you, as you see, I didn't touch these. I made sure everything on the tracking was leveled. Everything that's got to go in is just about the same level. Um, good gain staging with the microphone placement, um, acoustic treating of the room, all of that just plays a huge part. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Well, I'm about to touch these. I'm just going to slide this. Slide all these up. Um, next in my chain, uh, for my sins, I used the yeah, I just used the play reverb. Um, I'm gonna open up the settings so you guys can see what it looks like. Pause the video. Do what you gotta do. Let me sync that up real quick so it meshes in with the beat perfectly. Um, yeah, I'm just pulling it up a little bit. I'm gonna mute it, bypass it, and then we're gonna play with it. The... Why they act like the crispy cologne pussy nigga that the we sent? It's a drop of the bag in the air, so the fiend sit. I've been going for some days, so I say to get it free. Next, just a nice quarter note delay. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys hear that real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck on your bitch, I'ma throw it like three cents. Huh. Plug in my line, then he said that the P cent. And I use the age delay on this one. Um, turn it up just a little bit. Uh, if you guys don't know how to use the busing and the routing, again, I'll have another video for that um, coming up. 
um, a low end, scooped a little bit off the high end, and I made it a ping pong. And yeah. Man, I think it got the bag because I heard it got the peace stench. Why they acting like the Kush be cologne pussy nigga that the we sent? It's a drop with the bag in the air so the fiend sit. And right there, I mean, it sounds good. That's what I like to hear. Honestly, like, I, I'm, I'm satisfied with this. I would go in a little bit more in depth, do another EQ, um, another, you know, compressor on my all vox or, and, of course, my mix, my master. I mean, my, my mix bus and my master, of course. But this is, at this stage of the vocal, with all these plugins, this is what I like to hear right now. I like to hear levels, not clashing, nothing's fighting. Um, the bread and butter to this entire mix is going to be my parallel comp. That's just going to be in another send. Uh, another auxiliary and I'm gonna open up that for you so you guys can see what it's doing this is my parallel comp I'm just gonna leave it up here I'm not gonna really show you guys how to do the auxiliaries in this video but and that's pretty much universal as to what it, it'll look like um, for me I do start off with the vocal parallel preset and then I tweak it a little bit that's why I left it up for you guys so I left it up pretty long so if you guys gotta pause it go back to it Woodley Wob do what you gotta do. So as we hear it, we're gonna hear it all pieced up together and then listen to the difference between the parallel comp being on and the parallel comp not being on. How your man get jammed when you talk about you need bricks? You a fool with the pole in your hand, it's a free leak. Interception on the bag, heard it was a pig six. Club trying to tag, so I gotta hit a lick. Empty up the drum, I'ma shoot it to the bitch Clack car on the road with the bleak and it's nasty ass You can hear it just pulls it up It just it just pulls it right up And Now let's do it <laughs> Let's let's do it You a fool with the pole in your hand It's a free lick Interception on the bag Heard it was a pig six Club trying to tag so I gotta hit a lick Empty up the drum, I'ma shoot it to the bitch Clack car on the road with the bleak and it's nasty Ass so fat, body slim, look plastic I don't want the little bitch fucker in the panorama I was in the trap with the fiends cooking, I was rapping oh, Odell, back up, catch your plays, I be trapping Fruity on my bitch while I'm riding around traffic I air this bitch out, I don't think it's gonna happen Spin on your block, it's a murder scene Put your mask on my face, pussy nigga, you ain't heard of me With the Glock, have a taste in his mouth, that's a bigger key Off white belt in this nigga like a murder scene Here's shot, here help, now you act like you ain't heard a thing And the only other part I got in the song that you guys didn't hear is this and I'm gonna drag the waves tune down. I'm gonna hold the Alt Option key and uh, click drag. Same thing, the answers. Same thing about the WQ. Um, the only thing that I do different is I use the straight SL channel. The SSL channel. And then I just turn the ratio up to about a 10 to 1. I don't really wanna go too much over that. And I just make the threshold touch it just right to the point where it sounds it's rounding it off. I'll put, turn the release up as well. But I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> And you can hear it's really it's really doing what it's supposed to be doing right there. It's really taming it really well. So let's hear how it sounds with give it a little bit of reverb. Hey, this bitch out, I don't think it's gonna happen. Spin on your block is a murder scene. Your mask on my face, pussy nigga, you ain't heard of me. With the Glock, have a taste in his mouth. Hey, this bitch out, I don't think it's gonna happen. Spin on your block is a murder scene. Your mask on my face, pussy nigga, you ain't heard of me. With the Glock, have a taste in his mouth. That's a bigger key. Off white belt in this nigga like a murder scene. Here's shot, here help. Now you act like you ain't heard a thing. Cause I'm running on the block, yeah, I see you. Need another magazine, yeah, I need a redo. Shot him in the stomach, nice and in the feet. Got a call from the place, said it's fiend, need his needle. Fuck him. And yeah, that's basically, you know what I'm saying? How to mix vocals in Pro Tools. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions on anything, please, please comment, rate, subscribe, share, like. Uh, every week, new video dropping, and it's just gonna get better as it comes. I mean, links. Uh, Instagrams, Twitters, all that's gonna be in the bio. Shout out to my boy Donnie Ben. Shout out to my boy Ivo. Um, good energy, good vibes, good session. It's a pretty good song. Let me know how you guys think about it. I might drop the final version in SoundCloud or something like that. But uh, it's your boy. Spin on your block is a murder scene. Your mask on my face, pussy nigga, you ain't heard of me. With the Glock, have a taste in his mouth, that's a bigger key. Off white belt, and it's looking like a murder scene. Here's shot, here help. Now you act like you ain't heard a thing. Cause I'm running on the block, yeah, I see you. Need another magazine, yeah, I need a redo. Shot him in the stomach, nice and in the feet. Got a call from the place, said it's fiend, need his needle. Fuck on your bitch, I'm a